January 1, 2025 is go time for the state's regulation of uh, cannabis businesses. Um, how do you think the uh, legislature should move forward on preparing for that deadline? I think um, we should make sure the involved communities as much as possible. I, I believe in our community uh, based approach on up rather than a top down approach. So it's all about listening to our communities. What do they need? What supports they need to make sure that they have the re, re, uh, uh, resources they need not only to distribute it, but to uh, uh, make sure there's law enforcement, there's mental health uh, support, everything we need. And it's just about listening to our uh, local leaders, our local community members to do that. Thank you. Spencer. Thank you. Yeah, so when it comes to uh, January 1st when, with marijuana finally hitting the books, um, I actually think we're going to be facing a lot larger issues. You know, as of we sit right now, there is not a license issued for any of our um, growing operations or dispensaries. Um, and we're just a few months out from hitting that January 1st date. So we got a big challenge in front of us. When the state of Minnesota decided to legalize marijuana, we accepted on ourselves that we were going to create a well-regulated market that was safe for all Minnesotans. Um, and right now, there's a lot of questions to be answered on that. So I think when the legislature returns in January, the work is going to be, let's fix those things. Um, let's get the politics out of the way and make sure we can make a well, safe, and regulated market um, so we can have a business economy around it that thrives, but also keep our, sa our vulnerable people safe um, so it doesn't turn into that. And, and we accept that same burden um, when we have tobacco in our gas stations, when we have um, beer and wines and, and, and liquors in our liquor stores. We need to make sure that we do this correctly. And right now, um, you have people on both sides of this issue, the business community, the pro-legalization community, that are looking at the statutes that have been put into Minnesota law saying, we're going to have big issues and this isn't going to work. Um, and I've had the fortunate oppor uh, opportunity to kind of hear and work with both of them. So when we get back down there on January 1st, I, I would love to be a part of that conversation because we made the choice to do this, we legalized, but now we have it. We do a duty to ourselves and a duty to the people of Minnesota to make sure this is a safe and well-regulated market that does a good job for the people and doesn't turn into another debacle that causes you know, tax losses uh, and harms and, and, and potentially threatens the vulnerable.